Listen, I'll wait right here. I know you. Oh, that's the kind of a girl you are now. You've turned out to be hard boy's chaperone, Listen, huh? Listen, I've known you a long while. You don't have to worry about... Look at here, Barney. Yeah. Pinky's in there late out. He's got his skull caved in. Or you better call a doctor. Oh, some wise egg's already phoned the receiving hospital. Yeah, right. Dummy, you'll have the cops up here. What do you want to do? Better get this gang out. Okay, all right. Come on, folks. What seems to be the trouble, Barney? Oh, just a little mess, not much. I'll have to get this crowd out. Come on, girl. Come on, just. Come on, Kathleen, we gotta get out of here. Oh, what's the hurry? Oh, you'll find out when the police get here. Come on, hun, hurry up. We gotta get out of here. But what's happened? I'm sorry, Miss Doyle, the party is all off. Bunny will explain to you. Good night. Yeah, I'll explain it to her. Come on. What's the matter? Oh, nothing. Pinky's laid out there with a the cracked skull, that's all. Who did it? Oh, that lame-brained blondie. Oh, that poor sap. I suppose the cops will be here in a minute. Cops? Oh, uh, by the way, uh, I have a little date, so I think I'll run on along. Yes, go ahead. It's quite all right with me, useless. Uh-huh. Oh, Mr. Rufo, if I were you, I'd go out the back way. Some naughty policeman might pick you up. Well, what's up? We've had a slight accident, Doctor. You'll just come this way. Right in here, Doc. Oh. Huh? Oh. No, now the doctor's coming in a minute. Oh, here he is. Well, boys must have been cutting up. What's the matter, baby? Oh, oh, oh. Isn't that a beauty? Well, well, then. Oh, uh, something serious, is it, Doc? No, no, probably just a little fractured skull. Give me some cotton. That's all right, baby. Be all right in just a few weeks. Oh. There, there, don't worry, don't worry. Well, boys, get the stretcher. Ah, uh, listen, uh, can't you fix him up here? Yes, we'll fix him up all right. Be careful, boys, you know, you might give him a headache. Ah, uh, but you're not going to take him away. Well, I didn't bring him here. See here, Barney. This thing's serious. The doc and his attendants are in there now. Yeah. Well, we've got to go careful. You bet. This thing may get us all in a jam. Looks like we're going to look the situation over. You better keep out of it. Let me try to fix it. You'll be right, Mac. Okay, old chief. Okay, boys, take him out. I'll get my report. Say, doc. Can't we fix this up? You know what I mean. You don't seem to understand. I have to make a report of these things. If you don't know anything about it, take me to somebody who does. So let me give you a tip, Doc. This place belongs to Barney Muller. And if I were you, I wouldn't ask too many questions. I don't care whose place it is. I have to make a report. OK, come on. Uh, look. Look at here, Doc. This thing was a was an accident. You you sure want to be reasonable, don't you? If you people think you're going to coerce me into balling up my report, you've got another thought coming. I'm here officially, and I want the facts. All right, all right, Doc. All right. Now listen, Doc. I don't want any more of that. Oh, come, come on, on. You. be a good fellow, will you? I'm going to get the facts if I stay here all night. Well, look at here, Chief. This bone crusher in there is a hard-boiled, stubborn bozo. He's on the up and up. We ain't got a chance to fix this thing with him. Oh, no? Not a chance. Is that so? So he can't be fixed, huh? You go in there, Mac, and send them out to me. Think I can take care of them. All right. Look here, Doc. Come here, will you? This gentleman over here will tell you all about this thing. Hello, Denny. I never expected to find you here. Oh. Hello, John. Uh, do you know anything about this affair in there? 
Oh, I suppose it's one of those things, you know. Party, a couple of fellas, too much to drink. Usually ends up in a battle. Oh, I see. They told me this place belonged to Barney Muller. Yeah. Yeah, I think it does. Sure. Well, excuse me a second, John. You fellas better go. I'll take care of the doctor. Right, Barney. Good night. Good night, Chief. telling you all the rest of my life, and I, I probably will. All the reasons I have for loving you. But you know, Kathy, there's, yeah. there's one particular reason that I can't explain. Tell it, girl. Ain't that the, the dame that was up at a fine mother's party the other afternoon? Take a look. That's the cop at Park Avenue and 48th Street. Yeah, I know what you are getting here. Maybe you didn't pick a mother. Oh, so you're thinking there's a mother already on Oh, no, 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 Kathy, and I didn't mean that. Mm, well, maybe I did. <laughs> oh, you're an awfully nice girl. You think so? Think so. I know so. You know, you'd never guess it, but I'm, I'm terribly jealous of you. Have I any reason? Oh, wait a minute, that's a funny expression on your face. Have I any reason to be jealous of you? Well, no, uh... Uh, uh, oh, but, uh, Jimmy, I want to tell you something. Well, you know Bonnie Howe, the girl I work with? Oh, yes, yes, uh, the, uh, the pretty blonde girl. Well, uh, she invited me out of the party. To a party? Her, to Barney Muller's apartment. Oh, Barney Muller, the, 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 the gangster? Yes. Yeah. And, and did you go? Yes, I did, but it was perfectly all right. Did you meet Muller himself? Yes, he seemed very charming. Oh, you did, did he? And uh, who else was there? Well, they were, they were a lot of chorus girls. They were awfully good looking. Oh, were well, they? Well, you were enough for me. And who else? Well, there was a man by the name of Silk Rufo. Silk Rufo? He said he was Barney's brain. You know, I'm I'm working on that on that Muller case. And uh, you might be able to do me a great favor. Would you know this Barney Muller if you met him again? Would I know him? <laughs> Would I know you? Well, of course. Uh, I'll be right back. I'm on telephone. All right. Have you had a nice time? Oh, lovely time to find us. Yeah? Circle. Three, five, three, six. Yeah. Hello. Is up there? Silk ain't here, Barney. He'll be back in a minute. Do you see what he is? Uh, no. Hey, listen. When he comes in, have him call up Brian. Five five two one. You get that? Yeah, yeah. Tell him to ask for Dennis. Dennis. Understand? If I'm not here, you tell him that Barney Muller said that that deal is off for tonight. Got that? Okay. Okay. Reminiscing about all the old days? Indeed, yes. We were talking about the days when Robert Emmett, with one blow of his fist, killed 15,000 Philadelphians. Well, that's oh, a great story. It's a great day, Well, the boys are having a great time, aren't they? Mm -hmm. 
I, I hate to leave this half family reunion, but you know, duty before pleasure. Oh, Jimmy, it's a shame you have to go so early on Thanksgiving. I, I know, darling, but uh, oh, I'll be back in an hour or so. All right. Go on, Lance. And, uh... <laughs> Do I understand? And so does Kathleen, don't you, dear? Uh, all right, now, you, you take good care of her, won't you? Why, will we go and wash the dishes. All right. Too long, then. Oh, Jimmy. Yeah? I want to talk to you before you leave the house. All right, but I am in a terrible hurry. Got to stop him. Mustn't leave the house tonight. John, that guy's going to get out of this house over my dead body. I've got a telephone call in for Sokroof, but that's the guy he's got the date with. I'll try and stall him along until a phone call comes through. Oh, Jimmy. Hey. What's your hurry? Oh, I have. I have. I have a business to attend. Oh, is it, Jimmy? Well, this is Thanksgiving. Yes, I know it is. Like, I mean, I wouldn't leave that girl Kathleen of yours there. You go well, over here with all that job. <laughs> I'm not afraid of either one of you. Know, know, she they listen. Come on. We want to settle something else. Who's yeah. going to be the best man? Well, well, who is? Well, I hadn't thought about it. But, well, you've got to decide it right now. Oh, both of you. No, it can't be a relative. Now, come on. I mean, you figure it out. Well, now, who do you... Oh, well, I'll, I'll think of somebody. Oh, wait, wait a minute. Say, listen. Now, why didn't you let me get you to that little place up in the Bronx? I don't <laughs> want... Say, listen, what are you two fellas drifting at? All this... Oh, no, 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 no Dennis, what yes. is it? Uh, Jimmy. Well? You can't keep that date tonight. Now, why can't I keep it? Now, listen to me. I've never asked a favor of you in my life, have I? Mm, not well, that I remember, but I'm going to ask you one now. Well? I have a good reason for you not keeping that date. Well, uh, won't you, won't you let me in on the secret? Haven't I, John? Absolutely, Jimmy. But, but why all the mystery? All right. You go ahead and tell him, John. Yes, John, you go ahead and tell him. Well, it's all right to well, what's all this about? Listen, Jimmy. Dennis has mixed in something that I should have... Oh, Dinny. Dinny. You want it on the phone? Uh, circle 3536, will not you? Now, will you please tell me what it is? Well, just as I was telling you, he's in something that, well, uh, some fellow there by the name of uh, uh, Lafour, or Lofer. His first name is Silk or Satin. Or Finally. Silk. Thanks, Dad. All right. Thanks. So, oh, John. Okay. Well, <laughs> what, what? It was just a gag to keep you here for Thanksgiving. No. Go ahead if you want to. Hello, Silk? Uh, no. This ain't Silk. Oh, Barney. Uh, we, we can't locate him, Barney. You can't find him, huh? We tried all over town. <laughs> <laughs> if you... if he does show up, tell him that message still goes. Understand? Okay. <laughs> 